Creating the artsy lifestyle includes surrounding yourself with artful accents. I've come up with a really simple dish that's fun and easy to make. So the first thing is it starts with a drawing. Now you can draw anything you want, but basically I'm drawing a stencil that I wanna use. So I'm gonna place it into a scanning mat and then I'm gonna load it into my electronic cutter. And then we're just gonna go ahead and scan it in. So now while that's scanning, let's take a look at the finished dishes. Now these are obviously not food safe because they're made with art supplies, but they're perfect for storing. It could be office supplies, paper clips or stuff like that. You could also of course do any kind of fun little art supply, beads, buttons, all that kind of stuff. So really easy and fun. And you can see that you can either stencil it or you can leave it more blank. It's totally up to you. And they're made from polymer clay, so it's very permanent, which I love. So now, this is gonna scan, and what we're gonna be able to do is cut it out of stencil plastic. So this is a stencil we're gonna be able to use over and over again. So I'm going to take my cutting mat, and onto it, I'm gonna place my piece of stencil plastic. Now you can put it anywhere on the mat. I just tend to put it on one side, personal habit or something like that. And now you can see we're ready to go. So I'm gonna choose an outline scan. So it's just getting the outside of everything and drag in the arrows so that we just avoid everything else. Go ahead and choose preview and then save it into the machine. There we go. Now, all I need to do is retrieve it. So we're gonna go home, pattern, save data from the machine. Here we go. Now I wanna group all of these pieces so that I can move it, resize it, do whatever I want. So now you can see instead of a lot of little red boxes, they're just one big red box. So let's unload our scanning mat. And now I'm going to take our cutting mat and just place that right in, load it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scan that because I wanna be able to place the stencil in the best place possible for me and resize it if I need to because I don't have a big 12 by 12 sheet of stencil plastic. I'm just using a regular, I think that's nine by 12. So once it scans, I'll be able to see the stencil plastic right on the screen. And in fact, I can, it's right there. And I can place it exactly where I want it. And you know what, it looks like I could actually make it bigger if I wanted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Make it a little bit bigger. I love that. And now we're gonna say okay and cut and start. Now it says that's gonna take six minutes. So while it's cutting, I'm gonna show you the next step. So I have some polymer clay. I have a pasta machine. Now this is a pasta machine that I'm not making pasta with. It's dedicated to polymer clay. You can also roll this out by hand. This is kind of a faster, cheater way to do it, I guess is how you would put it, because it softens up the clay really quickly and easily. You can see I'm just forcing it through the rollers, which are rolling it into a sheet. So essentially what I do then is put it back through the machine going the other way. You think of it sort of like you want to have it go you know, one way and then against the grain the other way. Not the polymer clay has a grain, but that's sort of the idea. So I just keep putting it through again and again to soften it up and prep the clay the easy and lazy way. So this will be my last pass through and I just wanna make sure it's gonna be wide enough, sort of the width of it. So you can see that I've stretched out the clay and I'm gonna go ahead and put it through. And now I'm going to take it out. Here it is, it's a nice big flat sheet. Bring it over. I have my stencil, which is already done. And now this is that old fashioned way of doing it, but it makes a great impression, which is I'm just gonna roll on over. And you'll recall that I talked about two different finishes. So if you wanted it to just be plain, you could stop right here. If you wanna do a little bit of stenciling without even moving anything, I like to put out a little bit of paint and use a cosmetic sponge and just go ahead and go over this right through the stencil. So the stencil is actually doing double duty. It's both an embossing tool 
which I think is really cool. And it's one of the reasons that we cut it out of plastic as well as a stenciling tool. So I would take the time to go ahead and do the whole thing, but once it's done, you can remove the stencil, and you can see here that I have sort of half an impression, right, and half stenciled, but I'm going to take a very sharp blade, and I'm kinda gonna get the gist of a circle. This is not about perfection, this is a handmade wonky bowl. And I can always fix anything if I feel like I curved oddly. Peel away the excess clay, just like this, and then you're gonna carefully peel it off. Now the next step is we need to put this in a mold. So I have a bowl that I like, just a little pinch pot, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a mold by taking some tin foil, pushing it over, and just wrapping it around, okay? And I would take some time to scrunch it, and when it's done, it looks like this, and it's ready to go. So I load my clay in, and then I carefully push it down, and it's gonna want to kind of fold and bubble and lettuce edge, but you are not going to let it. You are gonna just keep pushing and folding, fold it along the edge, and just really work it in. The clay is stretchy, you have a little bit of patience. Then you take that same blade, cut around just like so, so that you're gonna have a nice even edge. And again, I like things where you don't have to be precise. You can see that I'm not stressing about this. This should be super duper easy and relaxing. So I peel it away just like this. Okay, and if you want, you can take your finger and kind of rub it, but you're gonna bake this according to the instructions of the polymer clay that you used. And then it's gonna come out of the oven. Now this is one that isn't stenciled, but still has the impression. And you can take any kind of paint, or this is actually a modeling paste, and I'm just gonna use my finger. You can rub it inside and see how it's picking up. This is almost like gilding. It's just picking up all of that wonderful texture from that stencil that we cut to make this amazing little bowl. And if you think it's too much gilding, that is when you use a baby wipe and you can just come back, move it around, and you can see how cool it looks. So it sounds like my stencil is done cutting. So let's take a peek at how it turned out. So cool, I just need to pop out all these little bits and I will have a new stencil ready to use for a lot of bowls. So I hope you'll give this technique a try.